Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get more space on your computer when using Filmora 11. So you know that when editing video with Filmora 11, there are many things that we need to delete after finishing our project. For example, the backup file, the proxy file, and render files, and also some sometimes the install effect also so okay so here's my computer and now i have Filmora 11 open and this is my current computer situation this is my c drive and it has only 588 megabyte free of 98.6 gigabyte so i'm going to delete something in Filmora to get more space on this c drive and you know that i mainly use Filmora for editing video and sometimes I also use other software, but, but you know that they don't take so much space on my computer like Filmora. Okay, so let's go back to my Filmora here. Because we need to find out the folder that the Filmora use on our computer. Okay, to do that, all you need to do is to go to File, and then you can select Reference. So first thing, we want to select Save tab here. This is a Save tab, and we can find the backup file. So the backup project file is on my C drive. It is in my C drive user and documents, Wondershare and Wondershare Filmora. So that is the location of the backup folder. We can find it and delete all the backup file later. And the next thing you want to select folder. So in the folder tab, you can see the downloaded file. So this is also in the same location. We is in my document also. And we also have other folder here, but uh, this folder is very small. And the last one is the effect page. In Filmora 11.5, you have an option to manage your install effect because the install effect folder is also very big. For example, if you want to manage the install effect, all you need to do is to click this manage button. And now you can select an effect that you want to delete from your computer. But remember, you can download it later from Filmstock. Uh, for example, I can select this effect pack and then I can uh, click this button to delete it delete selected okay so it is easy right by the way i'm going to click cancel and the next tab you want to check is about the performance tab here in the performance tab you have two things the first one is the preview render file so this is the preview render file by the way i changed it to my d drive already so it will not take more space on my c drive and the next thing is the proxy so the proxy location is also very important and it is also a big folder if you want to delete the proxy file, you need to go to the folder here. Or you want to change it to your D drive, like what I'm doing right now. Okay, so let's click OK. And now we need to find the backup folder, the download folder, and the install effect folder. So we can delete them and get more space on our C drive, right? And now I need to open Wondershare folder on my document. So all I need to do is to open my Explorer, Window Explorer, and then select Document. And we have some option right here. By the way, this is the Wondershare folder on my document. So all I need to do is to double click right here and double click again. And now we have a bunch of different options, different folder on this document. So we can double check. For example, this is the backup folder. And OK, it is 8.73 gigabyte, including all the project that I edit with Filmora 11. So I can just double click. And now I have all the backup project right here. And before you delete this backup file, remember to finish all of your project first. Otherwise, maybe you cannot recover your project if it is, it is crashed or it is not responding. Okay, so for me, I already finished everything. So I can press Ctrl A and then I press Shift Delete to delete it from my computer because I don't want to move it to my recycle bin. Okay, just click Yes. And now I get back 8.4 gigabyte on my C drive. Okay, so that is the first folder. The next folder we want to take a look is the install effect. So this is the install effect in Filmora. We can see that it is 5.44 gigabyte. So it is a lot of things uh, right here. We can just double click. As you can see that there are many install effect folder right here. And if you don't use any special effect, you can just delete the pack right here. Just press the delete button. For example, I can delete this one, the Christmas green screen. If I can, I can press shift, delete and click yes, so that I delete the effect from my computer. It is very simple, right? So let's go back to my computer to see. 
Okay, so now I have 9.46 gigabyte free on my C drive. And remember, you can also do the same for the Brosy file and the render file in the same folder if you have some problem with the empty space on your computer. And it is in the same folder, document and then Wondershare, Wondershare Femora. And now you can find this one, the Media Brosy and also the render folder here. If you want to double click and then you want to delete all the file inside. Also add the same folder here, the proxy file also. Because I changed this folder to my D drive, so I don't need to, to delete them right here in my C drive. For example, this is my D drive and I put it in Femora 10 and this is my proxy file. Okay, and this is my render file. So the proxy file is empty because I didn't create proxy for my recent project. Okay, and for the render file, it is also the same. If we want, we can just press the delete button to delete the render file on my computer. Okay, and if you want to change the proxy folder or change the render file, you can do it inside Filmora. For example, this is my Filmora, and if you want, you can go to File and select Preference. And now you go to the Performance, and you want to click this button to change the preview render file. For example, I can change it to this is D drive and Filmora 10 and then I can create a new folder here uh, and I say render file 1 for example and then I can select this folder and select the folder oh, okay sorry I change it again and this is render file number 1 and I can select folder you see that the location of the render folder is render file number 1 now and you can do the same for the proxy. For the proxy, you can click this button to change it also. Alright, so that's everything you want to do to free up space in your C drive when using Filmora 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to download Filmora, I will put the link in the description for you. And also my 20% discount coupon code for lifetime license of Filmora. Okay, goodbye and see you again.